Hi everyone, my name is Fiona Rose and I'm currently a fourth year senior at UC Davis studying biological sciences with a minor in art history. And today I'm going to tell you five things you should know about UC Davis before you ultimately decide to attend. The first one is that UC Davis is on the quarter system. Some people might already be familiar with the quarter system, but a lot of people like me came from a high school with a semester based system. Basically what the quarter system is, is that instead of about like a 16 week semester, classes only run for 10 weeks. So that means there are three quarters in a year versus two semesters. Being on the quarter system means classes go by a lot faster. So you have to learn the material quickly and you have to be on top of things. For some students, they prefer this because it allows them to get work done faster and take more classes that they normally wouldn't have the time to take during a semester school. However, this can be really overwhelming, especially your first quarter when things go by really fast. So that's definitely something you want to consider before you come here. Number two, Davis is a small town. I'm not talking about like 800 people kind of small. It's bigger than that, but it has a lot of small town vibes. And especially if you're coming from a bigger city like I did, it can be quite an adjustment. Um, Davis obviously has everything you need. Like there's a Target here, um, there's a little town, like bookstores, grocery stores, restaurants, but it is pretty small and there's not a ton to do here. So depending on how you view that, that can be a positive or a negative. I've ultimately found it to be positive because I'm pretty social, so it's definitely helped me focus on studying more, but sometimes it can be boring and some people, um, that's really hard for them. So that's just something to consider before you attend Davis is that it is pretty small. Third, Davis is a big school. Um, you perhaps have looked up how many people attend Davis. It's about 35,000, I believe the last time I checked. So it's pretty big. This can be nice because it allows for a lot of opportunities for things like research and club involvement. However, if you are in a more popular major like me, I'm in biological sciences, it can be hard to get to know your professors if you need a letter of rec. Um, some of my classes, especially the freshman biology series, have about 500 students in them. So just imagine trying to stand out with all those students, um, it can be quite challenging. So if this isn't something you see yourself being successful in, um, you might want to reconsider. However, not all majors are like that. Some majors are a lot smaller. So definitely look into your program before you decide to attend um, because that might affect whether it's a lot bigger classes or smaller ones and everyone's learning style is different. Some people like bigger classes, some people don't. Just something to think about. Number four, I hear a lot um, online that people ask whether Davis is competitive. From what I've seen and my experiences here, I don't think Davis is that competitive. Um, people are very, very friendly here. Like I know everyone says that, but it's, it's true. Everyone's very, very nice. So as far as um, getting people to help you with assignments or um, directing you on like how to study to improve your grade. Um, most people are pretty helpful and open to trying to help you, but obviously um, a lot of people who attend UC Davis have pretty good grades. So people are still very motivated academically, but I've never found it to be like negative. I always feel like it's pretty positive. Everyone kind of wants everyone to succeed, which is definitely something nice about attending Davis. And the last thing is a stereotype I've heard so many times since I started going to school here, and that's you need a bike to go to UC Davis. This is not true, although I can definitely see why some people would think this. Davis is the bike capital and many students do bike here. It's very bike friendly, but if you do not like biking, you do not need to get a bike. Trust me. I have a bike and I would bike a lot freshman year just because I lived on campus in the dorms. I would bike to class, but you definitely don't need one if biking's not your thing. Um, no one's gonna think you're weird if you don't have a bike. 
I know a lot of people who don't. And you can definitely get by without one. There's a pretty good bus system. And also Davis is pretty walkable. The only time you might want a bike is if you have like a short gap between classes and you have to go across campus, it might come in handy. But if you're kind of iffy about getting a bike, they can be a little expensive. So I would say maybe come here first and figure out your class schedule. But overall, you don't absolutely need a bike to attend UC Davis. And so yeah, those are the five things I will be talking about today. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, feel free to leave a comment down below, or if you still have questions, feel free to ask questions. And thanks for watching.